Hello my loves and welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. Hello, hi, I'm Katie and welcome to today's Zara haul. So we've got a spring haul and I have got some incredible, amazing, luscious spring finds. So I've got some really gorgeous neutrals, um, like really nice good basics. And I also have some stunning like spring coloured bits. I just wanted to show you like a little sneak preview because sorry just look at those tones look at the colors oh i can't wait i can't wait so i'm really really excited about today's video i will try my best to stop touching my hair in today's video because so many of you got very angry in last week's last month's video um but apparently i was filming my hair the whole time so i do apologize however if that many of you could leave comments normally that say nice things that would be fab <laughs> because it really really helps the engagement and it really helps to push my video out to the algorithm and to more people because you're commenting which means people find it interesting so therefore they push it out further so if anyone who found my hair touching slightly annoying um, and decided to write a comment about it if you could write a comment today with something positive that would be fantastic so um yeah but i do appreciate every comment and every watch and every view and if you could hit the thumbs up and make sure you are subscribed with an amber button on it does honestly make such a difference as you guys must know this is what i do full time and this is how i earn a living so the more people watch my channel the more i can money i can make and the more videos i can share with you guys because eventually i can get a nice team which means i won't have to edit everything myself and do all the hard legwork myself, which I know probably seems hard to understand sometimes maybe if you've never done it and think like, oh, there can't be that much that goes into it, but there really is. Like I dedicate at least one full day a week to YouTube. So that's one week, one day of every week of my life. So that's like 56 days a year, sometimes more. So yeah, any like love or feedback back is always greatly welcomed and appreciated. today's video and you guys also loved last week uh, last month that we did like trying on things rather than it like being in a cutaway so I'm gonna carry on with that theme and we're gonna try some things on today and we're gonna start off with if you did see last month's YouTube haul and um, I did have this basic in there I think it's $6.99 or $7.99 and I said it came with a little mark on and I was gonna swap it I think for a different size however I don't know why this one has also come with the mark on I almost Feel like maybe they just resent me the same one i don't know however i feel like this one maybe is a little bit less it's not less noticeable i can literally see it it's like this little white mark here i don't know if you can see it or not but um anyway i picked it up again in this color and i picked it up in the large in the gray because i just knew they'd be staple basics for spring time and summertime um and just today i popped it on with this really cute this really cute like cargo skirt so obviously cargo pants are very much in right now they're quite a thing and I just I just feel like they're not really me they're a little bit too much like tomboy vibe and I used to be a tomboy when I was younger but I didn't mean I dressed tomboy like I was into playstations and um climbing trees and being outdoors and that kind of stuff I wasn't like a girly girl um however the cargo pants are just a little bit too far for me so cargo skirts I'm here for this is a serious mini skirt though. I am five foot nine and a UK size 12 for you guys' reference. Um, and as you can see, it is a proper mini skirt. However, I feel like right, with the right knickers, it'll be fine. Um, I'm wearing a size large. However, I just wanna show you, there is a lot of room. Like with denim, you don't normally find that much room. So I would be inclined to size down to a size tw um, medium. However, if I do, I have got a feeling it's gonna give that like, I'm like that upper pod roll pokey out situation. So I'm a bit in two minds what to do because it is obviously comfy like this and it doesn't look too big, like just to look at. I just feel like if it's gonna stretch or give at all, it's gonna get really big. And I'm not sure if like Zara, larges have just got bigger or if I've shrunk a little bit, I don't know. We all fluctuate in weight all the time, so it could be one or two of them, I don't know. But anyway, I just thought this was really cute and I think it's really well priced. $29.99. I don't know if it didn't come in other colours. I just really like the colour of it. I thought this was going to look really cute with like some Birkenstocks, um, some trainers, maybe like a white t-shirt. I just thought it was going to be really cute. I also think it would look quite cute with like some knit, like thin knitted long sleeve jumpers, maybe when it's a little bit colder still, some boots. 
I don't think I'd go as far as tights with it, but yeah, I just really thought it was quite cute and worth picking up just to try. I think I may have seen it on someone which made me order it, but anyway. I feel like it's how I'm gonna get my little cargo pant fix. So, no, I just, I've got so many nice pieces. I have picked up, I feel like this is not the viral blazer, uh, the viral gilet, or is it? Is this the viral one? I've seen two viral ones, you know, from Zara, and I feel like I didn't want to get the viral, viral one because too many people have got it. And I thought this was a nice option of the alternative, but now I'm looking at it, I'm like, is this the viral one? <laughs> I don't know, if you guys have seen it online, let me know down below. And it did also say it came oversight, like quite large fitting. Zara has actually got this new thing on their website now where it does tell you what these, these mean. So the square I think means fits larger than normal. Maybe this is a square. Yes, this has got a square in too. So I think that means fitting larger than normal. Then there's like a triangle that maybe means fitting smaller than normal or like regular fit. And then, there is a, then there's a circle. We need to find out what the circle and the triangle mean. If anyone knows, leave them down below in the comments. But I'm going to style this up, um, pop it on to try, and let's come back and see what you guys think. Okay, so this is how I would style it um, for like springtime. So all I've done is popped on a really basic white jumper from Zara. These are also from Zara. I've just put them on for the first time. I have to say, the fit on these is great. They're a size 12. The only floor is the, le the the ankle length where they've clearly been cut because they've got like a frayed hem um, and then I've got the Boston Birkenstocks on in the oil shade I think it's called oil something um, and I just if you're gonna buy these I feel like I picked up the wrong ones and they do mark so easily just for reference and also I ordered a size up because all the reviews said go size up and they're huge so I definitely would go two to size. Look, look at that, that's like an inch where my heel is. It doesn't matter, they don't look huge, but they, I can feel that they're huge. Um, but yeah, this is how I'd style it for just like a day look, very chilled, spring. I mean, you could definitely wear this now, like this time of year, no, we're not quite in spring yet, and it still is very chilly, especially in the UK, if you guys are over here. Um, but, sorry, I keep touching my hair. I'm like really conscious of it now, but <laughs> if it's annoying me, I've got to move it, I just can't help it. Um, but yeah, what do you guys think? Really, really easy. You could also just obviously swap out for maybe like a thin knit, something like this, like a white one or a cream one. Um, really easy styling. I like it, but I think it's very cropped and I think that's not the most flattering on some body shapes and types. It may be like my body shape and type. I'm not loving it on me. I like it on other people, but I think it, I'm thinking it's not a tall girl gilet. So if you're tall, maybe pass on this one. If you're not so tall, maybe it's for you. I do like it, I just don't love it. And I wanted to love it. So I'm quite happy about that because my bank balance will benefit. But let me know what you guys think underneath. And um, if you are looking for a basic white jumper, this one I think is 30 pound. I'm lying, it's 17.99, what a bag. I actually already have one exactly like this. So I won't be keeping this one. I don't really know why I ordered it to be honest. Cause when it came, I was like, I literally have that. Not from Zara, but I have it. Um, and the same with the jeans. If you're looking for a good pair of jeans, but you're shorter than me, so you're, I'd say five foot seven and under will be good with these this jean length. Obviously, if you don't mind a bit of ankle out, they're all right, but they literally are like paddle pusher length on me, which is really unfortunate. However, they, the fit on the rest of them is really nice. And the color blue is also really nice. I can just show you. Let's go a little bit more emphasis on the jean a little bit more. So this is the jean. Just so you can see full. They're fitting really well, which is unusual, I have to say, for me and jeans. It's just the ankle length that I'm not loving. Okay, let's bring a little bit of colour into the wardrobe this summer, so or spring summer, with a really uh, wardrobe essential, I would say. These in like the blue tone or the pink tone, I think are a really great versatile staple for the wardrobe. So this obviously could be worn like office wear, very easy to start with office wear. But how I like these styled best is like with a nice pair of eco jeans and then maybe some like regular Birkenstocks or even like a, the ones I've got on today. Um, and I just think it's such a lovely, easy, casual, smart, casual way to elevate a look like or jeans. 
Um, and it is super versatile. Another way you can wear these is undone with your bikini underneath on your holiday. So with something like this, it's gonna work really hard in the wardrobe, which is always what we want. This is $25.99. I'm just gonna pop it on for size to see how it fits and what you guys think. Okay, I really like it. I can already tell I really like it because one thing I do find when you're searching for one of these types of shirts, and I mentioned it in last month's video when I picked up a really great blue version of this, which is actually a lot nicer in detail but it is a lot longer. This length, the length on this is perfection. Perfection. It's that length where you can wear it out and it looks great, but you can tuck it in easily and there's not too much overhang. There's not too much like extra of it. You can also tuck it up into the bra and it will look really cute. Or you could just tuck it like really gently into the trousers. And you can also do like the half tuck. So if I undid this button, you could also do like the Daisy Duke corner tie it up in like a yeehaw little cowgirl look. <laughs> That's not for me so much, but I do also like like the one tuck as well with them. Um, I think it just makes it look quite elevated, quite chic, quite effortlessly, easily, fantastic. And I just popped it on with the jeans that I already had on just to show you that it would be versatile with a blue jean as well. But yeah, the length and the amount of material on this shirt is perfect. Actually better so than the one that I shared last week. So, And I think this did come in a few colours. And also the back as well. So it does come down for those of you that like longer shirts that cover the bum. Or like anything longer that covers the bum. You can have that. Or again, you could tuck it in all the way around. I think it would look really great. This is a stunning shirt. This is definitely going to be a keep for me. I am wearing a size large, it fits really well. I've never actually seen one with two, two, what are they called? Pockets of four. I don't hate it. And I, I like the way the collar sits is also really nice, really casual. I've undone two of the buttons, so it's like a little bit more chill, a little bit more casual, but obviously, say you were gonna go into the office, you could definitely dress it up and make it really smart um, as well. So this is a win for me. And I think, did I just tell you the price point? I can't remember. The price is $25.99, which I mean under £30 these days I feel like is perfection. I have two blazers as well today that I have to show you that are freaking phenom freaking phenomenal. Like absolutely amazing is what I'm trying to say, but they are literally amazing. Zara for blazers at the minute. If you need some new blazers, Zara is the place to go. They have a blazer in every colour. I feel like I need one in every colour in my wardrobe now. My bank balance is saying otherwise. <laughs> so if you are looking for a, any blazer, honestly, in any colour, I feel like Zara has it. So just have a little look because you'll be pleasantly surprised. Actually, before I go on to any more on the rail, I'm going to do something super casual. I picked up, it's almost like loungewear, but it's, I wanted like elevated loungewear that I could wear out the house with a trench over so I could make it look, I could be comfy and I could leave the house. <laughs> So it's the grey tank top that I picked up earlier, but I also picked up these. Now, I feel like the regular style joggers, you know when they go in at the bottom, they look great on some people, but on me, I just feel like I look really slob-like. I look like a slob. And I mean, that's fine, it's just how I look, but I don't really want to go out looking like that. So I was like, right, let me try this slightly wider leg bottom. They look a little bit more put together. Don't ask me why, but I feel like they do in the grey colour. So we're gonna try this on as a little combo. I think it's gonna be a dream and we'll see how it goes. Okay, so obviously we knew I was gonna love the top. It was just a question of the bottoms. I can say I do like them. We're having the tall girl issue again. So where I'd like to wear them would be up here. Now that is not a good look. <laughs> so unfortunately I've got to pull them down here, which obviously I could change the top, wear like a t-shirt if I didn't want to have my belly out. But that's not the look I was going for. So I'm a little bit disappointed in the length because I thought, oh my God, finally a trouser. It's going to be long enough. And yeah, they're long enough if I wear them down there. But if I wear them up here, they're not long enough. So, and they are comfy, but they're quite like bulgy around here. So if you're a similar shape to me, now I'm, sometimes I can come across as quite straight, but I'm actually quite pear shaped. I'm actually smaller here and I do go bigger here. So I'm more of that like bottom, heavy, or what do we call it in another video? Top light uh, shape, that just is my shape. And I love it, and I've come to love it, and I've started to learn how to dress my body. However, when things puff out here, they're accentuating that 
bigger area that I already have. So it's not really the most ideal way to style my body shape if I'm trying to make it look the most flattering. For me, these are going to go back based on this scenario. This scenario, but also this scenario. However, I have to say again, if you are shorter, five foot seven, I would say, and under, these, these are going to be great. Might be a little bit too long on some people, so if you're too much shorter, I wouldn't go for them because they are really, really long, which is nice. They're really, really soft, and they're twenty two ninety nine, which I feel like is a really good price point. So it makes me quite disappointed. They do, do fit really well though as well. Like if you're a size 12, they're a true size 12. So that's a bit of a shame. I'm just gonna show you them from a little bit further back so you can get the full look. And how I would style these for like going out the house is with like a nice trench over, maybe like a jumper over the shoulders just in case you wanna get cold and you wanna pop it on later on. Maybe like a cap. I've got a really nice cap for one of my friend's brands uh, that I am love it at the minute and she has a few shades so it's a really nice shade actually that would match these really well so i might get that to uh match up here but yeah that's that's how they look that's what we think but yeah for me this area is calling it a no but i do like the shape of the trouser so i definitely would try and find myself a pair of this They're almost like the wide leg trouser style which is why i thought they would suit me more and look a little bit better on my taller figure um because i just think they're much more flattering so yeah, a little bit of a shame on those ones, but you can't win them all. So they say, or can you? <laughs> so many nice bits, I'm just like, where do I even, where do I even go next? Let's go in with one of the blazers because there are actually three blazers. I'm gonna go in with this powdery pink one because if you guys have been here for a little while, you will know pink is my favorite color. And in last month's haul, we had a phenomenal pink blazer and trouser set actually, but it was very much like smart, more office more of an evening blazer trouser set. And I wasn't 100% sold on the trousers. So let's hope I am with these because I've got a wide leg trouser with these, whereas they were like a flare. So, and the pink is a lot more powdery pink, whereas the other one was a little bit more subtle, neutral. I'd say a little bit more classy, but this is a lot more day, a lot more wearable. Um, it's got two buttons on the front, which I really like the buttons of. I think buttons gonna make a huge difference to the full effect of a blazer. I do like it when they put buttons on the sleeves and they haven't done that here, but yeah, it's a very nice powdery pink. So let's try it on. I've got matching wide leg trousers to go with it and see how it looks. The blazer's $59.99, picked it up in a large and the trousers are in a medium because of last time I ordered stuff and they were too big. So we'll hopefully we'll see how they fit in $35.99. Okay, all I can say is I was totally right with the sizing on the trousers. They're a medium and I would never pick up a medium in Zara. So something's going on with the Zara sizing. Something is going on. I think they're making larges bigger and mediums big. And I just feel like maybe a medium should be a 12 though anyway. Like a large shouldn't be a 12 because then that doesn't leave space for other sizes. Like they do extra large, don't they? But I don't know how many other sizes they go to. Okay, first impressions of this suit is a bit chavvy. <laughs> I'm not obsessed with it like I thought I would be. I feel a bit like a Powerpuff girl. Power! What's the Powerpuff girl? Alexa, what's the Powerpuff girl theme tune? Alexa, what colour are the Powerpuff girls? Each of the girls has a coloured loss in his pink. Blossom. There we are. Alexa, off please. I am Blossom from the Power of Heels. I'm sorry if you had to witness that. Oh, I'm not loving it. I don't, I think on like a dark head girl, this would look fantastic. I just think it looks a little bit Barbie-esque with the blonde. I'm not even super blonde at the minute. I do, however, really like the fit of the outfit. I like the fit of the blazer. I like how oversized it is, but it's not like humongous. It's given no shape. I just popped... um. Unfortunately, my white bra is in the wash, so I've got a black bra on. Um, but I just popped like a really basic uh, bodysuit with long sleeves on from Boohoo, which I never shop at, but I did pick up a skirt from there this week. And I popped a few little basics in just to see if I could pick up some ready for spring summer. So if you are interested in anything like daily spring summer styling, make sure you're following me over on Instagram. Um, anyway, back to this. What do you guys think? 
I like it. The longer I wear it, I feel like quite um, like women in business, like sassy women in business, like boss, babe. I feel like I need to go to an important meeting and I own the business in this. That's what it's giving me vibes of. And the trousers are really, actually, they're like a paper bag trouser. Um, they fit in surprisingly well. They're also, any of you that watched my 40 minute video last month, you're an angel. Thank you for that. Never thought anyone was going to watch a video that long. So look at the length. Oh. <laughs> However, I did notice in some of them, you can't see my feet. So let's make sure you can. Um, yeah, look at that for length. That's a, that's a long trouser leg. So they're perfect for us tall girls. Always what I'm looking for. Length. Height. So yeah, I don't know. I, this is, I'm not gonna keep it 100%. Not gonna keep it, just not, not feeling it. But I would love to hear your opinion and your feedback on the pink Powerpuff Girl suit. <laughs> what do they do? <laughs> Let's move swiftly on. Let's move on to some things that we could pair with a Powerpuff Girl suit. Okay, so if you're not feeling like making a whole Powerpuff Girl suit, styling something like this underneath with, a, you know, it's got the shade of pink in, would be a really nice alternative, maybe like a pink, um, sorry, a white skirt or something like that, or white trousers, very similar to this. <laughs> Another pink skirt. It's not a whole pink haul, I promise you. I think that's all the pink out of the way. But yeah, just I saw a new few nice pop of colour and I just thought, right, it's spring. I'm so bloody done with winter. I'd even put my winter coat away, like my big, long, thick winter coat. It's like so snuggly and I wear it every day I go for a walk. I say like I go for a walk every day. Every time I go for a walk, I don't go for a walk every day. Because where we live is by the sea. And it's so, so windy and blustery and cold. So I was like, right, this coat is going away. I've been wearing trench coats while I was in London on the weekend. I was freezing. And I had to get the coat back out, didn't I? Yesterday. Not happy about it. So anyway, I'm trying to manifest summer and spring by adding more colour into the wardrobe. And this summer, I'm here for it. I'm just gonna push myself out of my comfort zone this summer. I hope you guys do too, because I just think life's too short to have a boring wardrobe. What did I say the other day? And my friend was like, that's a quote that should be put on something. I was like, just relax, drink champagne and be fabulous. I mean, I feel like I may have stolen that from someone. I think it's a famous quote, but anyway, she loved it, so. <laughs> Let's try these pieces on and see what you guys think. Leave me a comment about this one down below in the comment section. Okay, you guys, I'm obsessed. This shit into this skirt, which is actually a skirt, is next level. It's next level. Are you ready? How cute. They're shorts. They're shorts. These are a large. I think this top is a large. Okay, you guys, I really love this. Um, I'm not sure if this looks great tucked into here because it has a really nice shape here. I feel like it will look cute with a crop, but obviously that's a lot of skin out if you're tall like me. So I do quite like it like this. I do actually also like it like this, out. I actually really like it like that, that's my favorite way to wear it. Um, and then the shorts, they're really sweet, but they're short. I mean, I know the key is in the name there, shorts, However, <laughs> for me, there's a difference between a short and having your ass out. And there should be a tall section for shorts, jeans, skirts, everything. Oh, it's very confusing in the world of fashion and sizing and whatnot. So you can't blame a girl, but you know, this is why I feel like I film these videos so I can help you guys out with your purchases so you don't have to send too much back. Um, however, they are short, aren't they? They're short for shorts. So. For me, yeah, great on holiday, probably wouldn't end up wearing in this country though, so it's probably going to be a no for me. Uh, I feel like there's a lot of like my upper thigh out, and as you can see, like their little shorts. They are cute, I feel like they're not the best made, like they're not the best finished, they've got little bits of string sort of hanging off here, here, here. I can see a bit on the floor. This $25.99, the skirt, and the top, which I really love and think would look gorgeous with like white jeans and heels white jeans and sandals. The top is $29.99 and it is a large. I feel like it's quite a true fit in size top. And I was saying, what I was saying before it cut off was that I think the sleeves feel like they should be like quite bell sleeve, but they, they're not quite. So I feel like they could have finished it off a little bit better on the sleeves, but that is being, me being picky. Um, and just so you guys know, the buttoning doesn't go up any higher than this. There's no more buttons from here on. So it's just an open neck collared shirt. 
has got really sweet like those um, pearl shell style buttons on. I like it and I do like a bright satiny shirt. Like I've got a great one from Zara last year. I wore loads. So let me know what you guys think about this. There's a little bit of a combo. Yay or nay? Drop a comment. Let me know. Let's have less comments about the hair touching and more comments about the clothes, please. Okay. <laughs> Good. Also, I did forget to mention, but I feel like you guys know this now. It's inevitably the case that all of the things that I've talked about in today's video will be linked in the description box below. Um, as well as my social media profiles and anything else you might need to know. I did actually pick up, I feel like I'm just going to chuck this one in here. This was a bit of a random, random little chuck in, but it just looked really, I think the model must have sold it to me, which is quite often not the case in Zara, isn't it? Um, I feel like lots of people might have like weddings coming up and this for like an abroad wedding, what a little dream. It's really different colour. It's, I'd say it's like um, an off, sky blue with a tint of like petrol <laughs> but i don't know how it's going to look on i also don't know what the bra situation was going to be like on i think it's going to be a stick on bra situation because it's low back so maybe bigger busted girls this might be a little bit more hard work for however you can get fabulous boob tape on fabulous things now there's the, with the world of like lifting your boobs up and keeping them safe has advanced quite a bit so definitely do have a look before you write off things like this in the future because I did wear a very low cut I don't have the biggest boobs but I still wanted something to support them um bra um sorry dress to a wedding last summer and I had this boob tape that basically changed the game I, like I couldn't have worn it without the boob tape so there's definitely options out there so have a look at those is what I'm saying uh, the dress is 45 pounds so like I'm not being funny if you're going to a wedding abroad you don't really want to spend a lot of money on a wedding dress to go over there this would be a perfect option it's really classy style i want to pop it on and see how it looks on um and yeah we'll talk about it when it's on i actually do just want to add before i take this off how nice oh it's not undone hang on okay how nice the sage actually goes over this as well so you can pick up any of the tones in these kind of brighter florally patterned tops and can you see that, that literally looks so lovely together. And you could pick out any of the other tones in it as well, like hot pink if that's more you. There's a nice coral tone in it, um, or a brown or a white, just for like a bit of styling tip advice. But I actually really like that's a combo. Okay, stunning neckline. As I mentioned, we'd need a boob situation, which I don't currently have, okay? So I'm thinking like a stick on bra do the job actually here or maybe just some boob tape that just held them here i'd probably personal preference suggest for my shape and size and my personal preference i would put some pull me ins on i don't currently have them on and i just feel like this material sometimes if i just let my belly relax for a second gives this sort of like it's not the most flattering on the belly or fattier areas Let's just call it that. Um, so for me, I'd probably pop some shapewear on just to smooth that out. Obviously, it could do with a bit of an iron as well. However, I think the colour is stunning. The neckline is stunning. It's sexy, yet elegant, because look at this back. Oh, wow. That back is doing bits. And my bum looks great. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it from that angle, but it does. And the length is really beautiful, really perfect, really beautiful. Let me know what you guys think of this. I really want to hear your feedback. Oh, I just think this is beautiful. I don't have any weddings to go to apart from my own, which is not yet planned. Um, however, I wish I did because I would be wearing this. It's stunning. It's not a colour I would ever normally pick up or wear. It was just the shape and the style of the dress for me. And I was like, <sighs> and it's such a good price point. I may save it for future weddings. Let me know if I should save this for future weddings or I should send it back. Oh, I just think it's beautiful. It's really beautiful. If this was a different colour, I might actually get all my bridesmaids to wear this. I might send a picture of it to my best friend and see what she thinks. Ooh, ooh. Oh, I love it. I don't want to take it off. That's when you know you love a dress or you feel like beautiful or something. It's because you don't want to take it off. So, oh, I really like it. So I'm just trying to get this on for you guys. And I'm not being funny. The head bit. I'm sorry, is this made for a baby's head? I don't know how I'm going to get this on without taking half my face off. <laughs> God. 
Okay, so when your head's in, it's cute. This is actually so soft and so cute. The top is $22.99, the bottoms are $22.99. You see the bottoms, the skirt. Um, and they're a really cute co-ward. Pick them up both in a large. Um, I'd probably add a waist belt if I was gonna style it for like out of the house. I think this is really cute, like kind of like loungewear chic, but in the house, but obviously super comfy for wearing out of the house too. It's really nice. It does, however, feel a little bit like unfinished. It feels quite basic. It doesn't, the material feels quite luxurious, but the set itself feels a little bit basic. Um, it's very, very like minimal. Can you see like the edging? It's the same on the bottom of the skirt. And I just think it doesn't feel super luxury for me. I feel like it needs to feel a little bit more exciting for like the style of thing that it is. I do however really like the colour. I think the price point is lovely. I do actually like the neckline on this as well. It's like a relaxed roll neck. It's not actually like rolled or rolled. So yeah, I do like that. There's a few bits I do like about it. See, even then a few bits I'm like mm, not convinced on. So I am going to try it on. It's risky with the face, but let's just do it. And then I have a gorgeous um, navy blazer, which I may as well just talk to you about now, because this looks really actually nice over this. I didn't expect these colors to go so well, but they do. I feel like this could be dressed up as a really... So the one thing that is good about these two pieces, I would say, is actually they're super versatile. So as I was just saying, you could wear them in the house, super cozy. You could pop a biker jacket on, biker boots, but you could also do something like this. I've got a navy blazer, excuse me sniffing, um, I'd tuck this up and in. I would I would add a belt to make it a bit classier or maybe like a nice chunky necklace. A nice bag and you could do some like navy work heels and this is like a work look. It looks like a, it looks like a midi dress with a roll neck. This navy blazer wasn't meant to go with this. I had the idea of just like a white t-shirt, some regular blue jeans and Birkenstocks with this or just like trainers. Obviously we know blazers are super versatile, but this is a really gorgeous blazer and I probably will just talk a little bit more about it a little bit later on. It's £49.99. I think all the Zara blazers are about £50 at the minute. Between 50 and 60 I don't know why I'm out of breath. <laughs> this happens to me sometimes when I'm filming, I get super out of breath. Um, okay, let's pop this on and see. Okay, we're in. I don't know if it's covered or makeup or not. <laughs> oh, I actually think I did pretty well. Oh no. No, I didn't do well. Sorry, Zara, it's marked. Yeah, I prefer this oh, I don't know, do I? This this skirt feels way bigger, and they're both larges. So that's strange. And I also found out the skirt is only $19.99. The top is $22.99. Yeah, the skirt's too big. Wow, that's weird. I mean, now come on. Come on, Zara, what is a girl meant to do? Like, I'm fitting in mediums and fitting in larges. I'm fitting in clouds, I'm not. I'm fitting in larges in the same skirt in a different freaking colour, but not in this one. This is huge compared to the other one, you can see. Oh my God, this would have to be taken in. Anywho, um, I actually just want to pop the navy blaze over this one because I feel like it will go really nice with the cream. This is lovely. Oh, this is stunning. This is stunning. Oh, guys, what do you think? It's definitely too big. Feels a little, because it feels too big, I feel like it's not giving quite the right effect that it should. But I feel like you could see how this has potential. Um, and obviously, both pieces could be worn as separate. I can't, I feel like I can't not try these sage pieces on much longer. Oh, that is the weirdest thing I've ever seen. Why would you do that? Look at this. I've never seen that before. It's got like fake buttonholes and no extra buttons. I've never seen that, how weird. That is weird, I don't get that and I don't like it. If you're gonna have buttons, have buttons or don't. Don't be, don't be fake buttoning me. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna try some of these sage things on because they are literally staring at me, like please try me on, Katie. So let's try them on and see. Okay, so my buzzer just went and this just arrived and I just feel like this could be such a good combo. You know how I was just talking about dressing up and dressing it down? How cute is this? Okay, because this actually looked huge when I was putting it on the hanger. I was like, this is going to be gigantic. And all I can say is it's snug. It's not gigantic at all. It's very misleading. 
I'm just having a bit of a moment. Okay, obviously I'd put a strapless bra on and my tits would end up looking better than this. Okay, no, it is huge. It's huge. But it's also freaking tight. I'm sorry, the arms, I feel like they're gonna cut my circulation off. Yet this bit, I mean, you'd need like a triple E boob to hold this up. <laughs> I need some massive kahongas in here. <laughs> Which is a shame because the colour is so lovely. And with these jeans, oh, these jeans, oh, oh, it's such a shame. I love this top. I'll tell you what you have to do is get boob tape, which is extreme and far too much effort for me. So I'm not going to keep it because of this and I can just feel it falling down and, and stick it to you. If you stuck it to you, it wouldn't move and it would look epic. And it actually does look epic on. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. The only problem with these tops is you literally can't, if I do this, you can't, you have to then rearrange. So it's kind of, they are annoying. But what I want to talk to you most about is these trousers. Woo, my tall girls, my tall girls, my tall girls. You're going to love this, you're going to love this, you're going to love this. They could not fit me any better. I've gone UK size 12. These are 35.99. I have been looking for these trousers for years and I found them They're actually if anything slightly long they're slightly long I might have to get my friend to take them up a little bit because look at this oh can't see it can't get myself in look at this they're not they're not dragging but I probably would want them like there like I just wanted to just touch the top and they're 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 there. They're, like I say, they're not dragging, but look, they are long. <gasps> they fit great, though. They fit absolutely great. I'm going to try, because of that, I'm going to try them on with the blazer, because I feel like the blazer's stunning. Oh, this is even better green. This is more like of a apple green. This is more of a sagey green. Obviously, I wouldn't wear the two together, because they're not matching greens. Actually, the toenail is quite cute. The toenail is quite cute. It wasn't meant to be. It wasn't meant, my, wasn't my intention. Um, however, the jeans and the blazer and the bacon socks is what I'm here for. That's what I'm here for. Um, and I probably just swap out this for the tank tops I showed you at the, sh uh, at the shirt at the start in like a white or even maybe the gray would look kind of cute. Um, Oh, this is so cute. I'm so happy when things come together like this. However, I do want to say the blazer's quite oversized. I am going to try it on. Um, I do like wearing them on my shoulders. I just think it looks a little bit more chic. Um, it's got this little bit. Yeah, it's quite big. It's definitely, like, obviously an oversized blazer. <laughs> a bit funny, it looks a bit like that. But um, probably wouldn't ever wear it done up. doesn't look great. However, undone. I feel like if it's undone, you want it to have the button here, not here. It's a very weird positioning of the button. Very, very few things left. One absolutely stunning top. Um, we're going to hope it fits a little bit better than this. There's going to be a bra situation with it, I just know. Um, and two little jumpers. Oh, three little jumpers. So these are actually the same. Did that thing where I buy in two of them in two colours. Uh, I'm going to try the darker one on. These are both 19 99 as well, so a little bit of a bargain. This is cute as a little outfit. Oh, <laughs> I feel like I'm just gonna wear these jeans forever more now. This top is fitting really nicely. I picked it up in a large in both. Yeah, a large in both. I like the color. I really like this. This is really cute. Um, yeah, just a really nice, easy basic. Could obviously wear it with these jeans, regular color jeans. Black jeans, the list goes on. But actually, nice tonal look, actually. I feel like that's quite cute. That's quite cute. Quite cute, quite cute, quite cute. I am, yeah, I don't have many jumpers like this. I'm kind of lacking, like I said earlier, nice thin knits, thin, um, thinner knits as we're going into spring, and nice good basics. So, okay, I like this one too. <laughs> I really like the tonal look. Oh, this is fab. This is fab. I think I prefer this one. It's always the way, isn't it? You think you think you'll prefer the other one, but I actually think I prefer this one. So it's got a little bit of detail here, um, like a jersey, cuffed sleeve, cr 
cropped bottom, but it's not too cropped. As you can see, I've got high-waisted jeans on and it's coming to exactly the crop, so that's nice. I think I hate it when there's like, there's this much crop and you're like, I don't want that much out, you know? So it's actually a really nice length crop. Could also tuck it in like that. Um, yeah, super cute. What do you think for 19.99? I think it's a bag. I think it's a yes. Do I keep it or not is the question. Is it the one cream or the tan? Drop that in the comments. This is just a super basic. It's the same as the white jumper I shared with you guys at the start. I just thought it was a really nice stone color. And again, I was thinking of it with like these trousers and my Birkenstocks. Actually the Birkenstock color match with this is stunning. And then this is the top that I've literally, this top prompted the whole haul. It's freaking gorgeous. And I just hope that it looks good on. Okay, so I just wanted to pop the jumper on really quick to show you and just talk you through the quality and the fit. It is a nice fit. I think for me, I probably, if you want to keep it for the smarter look, keep true to size. This is a size large, so it's equivalent size 12. If you want it a little bit more of an oversized look, I probably size up just one or two sizes. Um, I have to say the quality of this is really stunning. It's really nicely finished. Lovely, soft inside. So for 20 quid, I think this is an absolute steal. Okay, it's got really fiddly buttony bits that I'm not gonna lie, I can't be asked to do. So I do apologize. Um, I just want to show you the neck bit though. Look, it's got those cute little things and they go around here. So this is how it looks. <laughs> and this is how it would sit. Actually, it's not so bad in the boob situation. I thought it would look a lot worse without a bra. I would need to wear a bra with it, obviously. And I'd probably just go for a stick on because the back is completely backless and low and dropped. I think this is stunning. Even with like these jeans and some heels, flipping gorgeous. Flipping gorgeous, and it is $22.99. I'm wearing this in a large. I think the, the fact that it's a large is helping with the boob situation. Um, yeah, I really like it. I did think it'd be a little bit more of a cowl there because I thought it would hang a little bit low. It's quite high hanging, isn't it? Um, what do we think? <laughs> you guys let me know what you think. I'm just going to pop the navy blazer on. Just to talk you through it a little bit more, so I feel like we skipped over it a bit too quickly earlier. And then we shall call it a day. If you've stayed all of this time, you guys are my favourite and you best bloody be subscribed. That's all I'm saying. And you best have hit that thumbs up. And you best have left me a comment by now, because if you've not, come on, what are you doing? Okay, so we're doing that like sexy no bra blazer vibe. What do we think? feel like this is the same fit as the pink one from last month's video. I say last month, like I mean it's only just in March, hasn't it? And I only just uploaded it last week in February. So we're pretty close together on the Zara videos. I feel like it hasn't got any button sleeve detail. Um, and I do like the fact that it's got black buttons because it means you can tie in the black with the navy quite easily. Um, I obviously, the jeans I'm wearing right now is not what I'd wear with it, but I do really like it. As I mentioned earlier, I think it's a good, um, basic blazer to add to the wardrobe if you're looking to add some bits to the wardrobe but I do think navy is quite a nice colour to elevate in this spring to summer season I think it looks great with white jeans um, it looks really classy with tan handbags tan accessories tan shoes um, and I do think it's very versatile I also think it looks great with regular colour jeans maybe a white shirt and yeah, lots of nice ways to style this for spring, summer. So I do think it's a good investment piece. And for £50, I do think it's kind of very nicely made. It feels very expensive and I'm not being funny. I feel very like, posh in it, even though it is, as you can see, like quite low. I do think it could be dressed up as well really nicely for an evening. So it has got that versatility that you could wear at day, office and um, evening, which is like the best of all worlds, is it not? <laughs> okay that is everything from today's video i hope you guys did enjoy if you made it all the way to the end let me know by sending a little heart in the comment section i would love to hear from you guys and i'd love to know if you made it all the way to the end if you like these um, more chatty relaxed style videos uh, with me just trying them on and talking you through them then do let me know as well if there's anything you want to see more of on my channel please do let me know as always i'm open ears and i always want to make what you guys want to see so yeah, I'm feeling excited for you guys to see this video because I feel like it's a good one. And some of the pieces are just bloody lush. So thank you all for being here. I will see you in next week's video and make sure you subscribe with the lamp button on not to miss out. Bye for now.